Debbie at Basket Case Mamas, Fab Finds, and today I am sourcing. Today I am out at the Salvation Army, and today is all the tags except for one or half price for shoes and clothing. So I'm doing a shoes and clothing source. I'm going to try to turn you on and on and off, and doing clothes and holding a phone is kind of complicated. But we're going to try to do that this morning a little bit, and um, sh I'll share all the stuff I sourced at the end of the video, so stay to the end. Um... So right now I got here a little early this morning. I thought they opened at 9 and I got here at like 9.30 and they don't open till 10. So here I am sitting in the parking lot talking to you. <laughs> so things happen. Um, I'm not sure how well I'm going to do today. I actually am in a back brace. Like um, not sure how I'm going to go. I, the pain's okay today um, but I apparently did something to my lumbar and um, it's, it's not happy. It's very unhappy. In fact it's like emergency room unhappy on what was it Tuesday night Monday night Monday night um I was really in a lot of pain I went to bed at like eight o'clock went to bed last night at eight o'clock too um but I slept really good last night because the, the pain was went much better I went to the chiropractor so things are improving so hopefully it'll all be gone in a couple days yay we'll go back on Friday cross fingers send up a couple prayers for me would you um anyway so that's all good um we're better there and so today I'm doing this and then I have lunch with my daughter and my husband and we're going to have some um, some fun time together because uh, she doesn't live at home anymore so I don't get to see her as much so it's really nice when we get to spend some time with her. And I also think I found a program to edit this video. Oh, let's hope that's true. Um, let's see how I do. Um, so if you see a pretty cute happy video at the end. Oh, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy. Um, we'll see. Um, but you know, you start where you start and you do what you do and you learn as you go. Um, and video editing is never my high suit. I can sell things and I can do things like that. And I'm organized and I got spreadsheets through the nose. Like I'm good at all those things. Um, but video editing has never been my thing. That's, you know, it's relatively new in the age of I've seen the birth of cell phones and the evolution of computers from gigantic desk sized computers with ticker tapes and the first one I ever worked on was a Burroughs E2500 I think um, with ticker tapes and the magnetic cards um, that's the first computer I ever an IBM yeah that was the first first time I ever used a computer and you know, I've seen like go from word processors and electric typewriters into what we have today, these tiny little laptops and tablets and phones. So I've lived through the, all that evolution and I think I've done really well with, you know, adapting to the technology, but video editing's never been something I ever really had to do, but I'll figure it out because I always do figure it out because that's what I do. I figure things out. It's what I used to do my job. If it was couldn't figure it out or if you needed it broken if you needed me to test a program I was your girl and so anyway um so today we're off to the to the Salvation Army to see what we can find I'll see you soon bye so I promised I would get some video inside the store it's too busy in here today so um like chaps Ralph Lauren polo Ralph Lauren not as good as Ralph Lauren jeans Ralph Lauren knitwear and plain old Ralph so you kind of have to go through and look at your tags and see what you're doing because it's not always easy. So I grew up in a family where IZOD was a thing, um, but IZOD's really not a thing if you're reselling things. So a lot of these are like Buddha the Loom, Hanes, you know, the t-shirts from the basics. The trouble is sometimes you find things stuck in that are not plain, so you kind of have to look at everything. And it's okay. So like in this, like you see how it's all gungy around the top? It's gungy. So you have to kind of go, I have a kind of thing for Alvin's Island, Marco Island Cabin. It's got the sticker still on it. Too bad we're not living in Marco Island. That might be nice. Um, I have a thing for Hawaiian shirts, things like that, but they have to be a good brand. They have to feel nice. Um, I just like them. I think they're nice for summer. So again, this is got. I thought that had tags on it. 
it's just the way it looks through the camera. I shouldn't look through the camera while I'm talking. But on an Echo Unlimited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyway, so I have a cheat sheet actually of some brands. And I actually will do this little brand video, but there was a guy that had like brands that sell fast through. And I'm not selling fast anything right now, but I wrote down some of these brands from a video that's on. I'll link the video if I can find it again once I get this up and then you can learn, live and learn. Adidas is nice. This is a nice Adidas shirt, but I'm looking for things that are going to sell through faster than Adidas right now because I would have to sit on Adidas for a while. And although there's some very nice shirts here, you want to try to not like Nautica, another really nice brand. Our store is kind of color coded, as you can see. So greens over there. So I just try to go up one row and down the other. This is again the chaps with the little logo. It's kind of nice. I love this color actually. It's got ink on the. It's got a little ink stain there. I actually can get ink out though. And all the tags today are half price except for white. So that helps. So anyway, I'm gonna keep going and I will come back in a little bit. Bye. So right after I turned off, look what I found, a Patagonia. Yes, I did. So um, it's Patagonia, it is in nice shape. It is a shirt. So, um, and it is half price, $2.50, winner. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hey, good morning. So um, it's the next day because um, I had things I had to do yesterday afternoon after I got done thrifting and I just want to go through it and show you some of the things I got. It was a good haul. It was a good day. So um, I didn't get to have you on the whole time I was in the store because it got really crowded towards the back of the store where the hard goods and the shoes and the toys and the household items are. So it was really hard to like be in there and talking to you. So anyway, um, there's a little background noise. My husband's watching, listening to a podcast and the washer's going so I hope you can hear me all right so here's the stuff we got oh, it won't let me why won't it let me flip the camera hmm interesting all right hold on okay okay so my phone got turned off in the middle um, for storage reasons my phone is a problem but the big picks of the day that I do want to show you is I picked up not one not two, not three, but four pairs of Duluth Trading pants. So these are the Flex Fire Hose with the pocket, the carpenter pants, and these go in good use condition for almost $50. And then the regular denim ones, what? Sorry, had to go down into the bin, down into the bin. So the regular denim ones, and you can see I picked them up for $3.50 a pair, which is such a deal. Duluth Trading. So the regular denim, and these are all bigger sizes, go for about $35, $40. So um, that's a good day all day. So I got four pairs of those. I got one pair of Lucky Jeans as well. So um, it was a really good day at the store. Let me, and um, okay, so here we are. Now we got it. So I'm going to do this one-handed as best I can. But these are a pair of Nike um, navy blue shorts, and they have this cool little spider on them. So I thought that was interesting. And they're dry fit, and they're a medium. And um, I got them for $5.99, which was a bit of a pay up because I thought that was one of the half price items, but oopsie, and they weren't. So, um, but I still think I can probably get around $20 for them. So even with an offer, I'll still make money. It's going to be okay. So, sorry. All right, the next thing here we have is this sweatshirt. It's B&C, European style. It's a men's. It also says spider. I just think it's funny. Medium. Um, I wish it was a bigger size, but I only paid $3 for it. But it's this really nice orange color. It's a full zip. And it's this really, really high quality um, sweatshirt material. I mean, you can really feel the thickness of it. It's really nice. Um, so I looked up the B and C and it's 
and then you know there's it's all over the place and there's not a lot of great comps so I'm gonna probably list it for $22 the next thing we have here is um, an Island Republic and this is just a regular polo shirt um, but it's a really nice silky material it's a beautiful cream color um, and it's really nice and I paid $4.99 I can get $22 for it I also picked up these pair of vans they're pretty nice they're in exceptionally good condition look at those soles look at that there's like nowhere um, and I love when I can pick up a good pair of vans and um, they were four dollars because shoes and clothes were half price and um, I can get probably 24 the next thing I picked up was because I like scripture shirts I like scripture shirts and this one was a cute one and this is a favorite it says Jesus took naps I'm trying to be like him mark 438 so this is a 3x t-shirt and it was a dollar fifty and I can get fifteen for it. So that's like, you know, just the meat and potato stuff, but that's okay. Meat and potatoes are good. I like meat and potatoes. They'll fill you up eventually. Right. So this is this shirt was also half price. It was a dollar fifty. It's a Disney Park shirt. It says, I'm goofy, what's your excuse? I just love that goofy. So, um, and it's navy blue. This is also, I think, a large. And it's a Walt Disney World shirt. So, um, anytime it's Disney parks, Disney parks specific, then that will um, bring more money. So, um, where did Debbie write the Disney thing, though? Uh-huh, she was doing real good up until then. Okay, that was $1.50, and I can get probably 17 for it. So the next thing in the pile is this coat that I picked up. I just dropped something on the floor. Blur. But anyway, let's see if we can get you to see this nicely. This is a short belted, backing up, leather and suede coat with this pretty satin lining. Um, I paid six fifty for it. It's a size medium, it has zipper pockets, um, and it's in exceptionally good condition. I mean, it's a beautiful coat, and it's a short coat, so it can go into spring and fall and all that really nicely. And um, it's by a company called Giorgio Studios, and I'm seeing other coats similar to that going for around $100, and I'm going to ask 85 so this was the big find, and you guys got to see this in the store. So it was $4.99 for this really nice Patagonia vented shirt. So it's a button-down vented. It's got the mesh inside, as you can see. Sorry for the abrupt end. Family awoke and came noisily into the fray. But at least I have a video with some editing, so there's something. Woo-hoo.